We're going to be hearing a lot about vision and values over the next months to come. Um, I, think, I think most importantly what we need to consider is that while we might be asked or told what our vision and values are, um, what we should consider is that they are actually things that we should actually do as our behaviours and our habits and just live through the organisation. EZEC are a people business. Um, everything that we do is totally driven about demonstrating our passion, our commitment um, and our real care and interest in our people, whether that be our patients, our clients, our colleagues or even our partners and suppliers that we work with. Our engagement of our colleagues and understanding their feedback and their views on what the experience is in working for our business is absolutely critical to our success. Um, we encourage diversity, we encourage and transparency and we really do encourage people to talk to us and share um, the good and the not so good about their experience. I think when I talked to people when I came into the business, committed to care was really about focusing and supporting the patients and that is absolutely right. But I think for me, this means more than just our patients. This means supporting our people, it means supporting our communities, it means supporting our planet and of course it means supporting our patients. And it really should be about everything we do, every single minute, every single day, we should be thinking about that care aspect. How do I really support that patient? How do I look at my colleague who looks like they're having a bad day? How do I support that person? What about the, the planet? Well, do I really need to keep that vehicle idling or should I turn the engine off because that's polluting? And finally with the communities, what else could I be doing? How else do I support the communities? What else could we be doing to help? For me, committed to care is, is a component part of what we do. It's absolutely central to everything, but we need to start to consider it in a much wider sense than just the patients. Something really special at EZEC is that everybody is one team, everybody pulls together. It doesn't matter what the role, whether you're patient facing, you know, you're on the road, you're in control and dispatch, you're one of the support services, administrative, fleet, it doesn't matter what the role is, everybody pulls together as one team because at the end of everything we do is a patient. So everything that everybody does impacts on the patient's experience which brings everybody together because we're motivated to give the patient you know, the really best experience we can. And the other thing is everybody cares about each other. You know, we're in the care, we're in the care industry. People come into these roles because they care. And it gels everybody together. And when everybody comes together as the team like we have at EZEC, it's really powerful. You know, you could really achieve something. We listen, we learn and we adapt. Spent a lot of my first initial couple of months going around all the bases and listening to what people had to say. And really sort of crucially for me, it's trying to gain honest feedback from everybody out there really. And I've been really encouraged by the fact that people are willing to open up and say what they really think. And that's the sort of culture that we really want to promote in our business going forward. The most amount of feedback that I've had whilst traveling around all the bases is about the state of our fleet. We have to accept that the fleet we have is, is, is ageing, very different ages of the fleet. What you don't know, probably, and, and need to be aware of, is that we have got a fleet replacement strategy. I'm well aware of the fact that you may have had the opportunity to give feedback before, and perhaps haven't been listened to, or perhaps been frustrated by the fact that nothing's happened. And what we really need to try to do is change that culture to actually start taking action. So that's where we're going with this. We're trying to change the culture and, 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 and really, really uh, encourage honest feedback. The outcomes from what we do have an impact on people's lives and we should all aim really high. And we should ask ourselves what we'd want out for our own parents from the service. Every person using our service should want and expect to receive the same. What I see is uh, the best of human nature embodies everything that we do in the organisation through the care, the uh, pride at what we do, we want to have an impact on people's lives.